Hey, what's up guys? This is Jack again from Pen and Journal. Welcome back. Thank you for your visitation in this channel. I hope this channel blesses you. And so today I'm going to do a wrap up of my last insert in my traveler's notebook in Camel Brown. This is my mind map insert. But before we go into uh, details in how I do my mind mapping, I just want to have a quick run through of my notebook again. All right, there's some updates here and there. So in the first uh, insert, this is a zipper pouch. This is where I put all my miscellaneous stuff, my bookmarks, my gospel tracks, uh, washi tapes, so on and so forth. All these were going to here. This is my bullet journal. I just started a new bullet journal in the month of September. And I think I can do a little bit of a flip through for you guys. Right, it's nothing personal I've really added in yet. So, quick run through. This bullet journal will start on the 1st of uh, September, 2022. In Singapore, it's always day before the month and followed by the year. And I have my keys here, right? Task goals, uh, events, appointments, notes, so on and so forth. And over here, I have a little bit of um, how I go about my morning prayer, uh, how I spend time with God, right? If you're interested, you can maybe take a quick look at this. I want to go into details about this. I will cover this probably in another video. So this is what I have on the front page. And then over here, this is my index, right? This is where I put all the important spreads that I want to keep track of. And you can see I've already added some fountain pens for sale. Uh, I have a, a, a a page for children's ministry in Philippines and of course the videos to record for the YouTube channel and then straight up yearly log for the month of September 2022 all the way to the month of August 2023 right and of course we have our uh, monthly log this is the month of September you can see it's quite empty yet I haven't added anything on this page yet let me see if there's anything personal here right next page will be on my prayer list i'm not going to show this to everyone right so yeah that's pretty much it that i can show to you guys regarding this new uh, bullet journal or planner journal and then on this part you can see the other side of the zipper pouch that i have inverted these cards over right to keep my details private and then this is my planner my journal not my planner rather this is my daily journal and then we come to our mind map insert right this is what i'm going to show you guys for today so once again this is the traveler's notebook in camel brown i love it it's aging well the patina is just very unique to my own and so let's get started with how I do my mind map. Right, putting this aside, I'm gonna bring in this sample uh, insert that I'll be using for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Right, so let's say this is an insert for my mind map. So what are mind maps or what do I use mind maps for? In my case, I'm a very simple person. I have uh, things that I wanna keep track of things that I want to break down, things that I want to have a good overview. So normally how I use mind maps will be for assignments, can be work assignments, can be ministry assignments, can be to do this, can be a schedule, a project is coming up here and there, right? You can pretty much use mind maps for anything under the sun. So for my case, I use mind maps to break down complex stuff. So let's give an example of how I use a mind map. And we, let's go back to the example of the children ministry in Philippines that I'm running. Right, so that's the main topic. And at this moment, I'm planning to expand the ministry. 
I need to look into things like uh, classes. I need to look into things like finding helpers. I need to look into things like how I run it, uh, the programs, the modules, the tools that I'm going to use, you know, to run this ministry. So let's get started. So for myself, normally I will have a central note here, right? I'm just using a rectangle. You can use any shape that you want, whatever that works for you, right? So I'm just going to write here, children, ministry, Philippines, right? For some, uh, my maps, I'll have a date. In this case, I won't put a date. So, what's the plan of this? What's, what's the breakdown of this? Let's look at the goals. What are my goals for this ministry? So the next note that you're gonna have will be circular, can use any shape once again. So what are the goals, right? The first goal that I have for this ministry is to teach and guide and to uh, mentor and disciple, right? To teach the children to how to have a close relationship with Jesus. That is the end goal. The end goal is Jesus. So I can write here, the end goal will be Jesus, right? To teach the children to have a close relationship with Jesus, right? That is the end goal, is Jesus himself. And the second end goal will be, for my case, how I felt it is to raise or to um, raise teachers from within, right? To teach the children to be teachers on their own when you grew up, you know, three, four, five years later, that they can uh, imitate me as how I imitate Christ to bring it this ministry to teach others to multiply themselves and that is the second goal that I have for, for this ministry and I believe the children can even do a better job than me they can take whatever they learn from me and improve on it right to inspire to teach and to pass it on to their future generations so the goals here is one and Two. So what are the tools or rather what is the pull factor that I'm going to use for this, right? You call it the pull factor. What attracts people to want to come for this ministry? So my main core pull factor will be coding, right? So I teach coding uh, in my school, in my locals, uh, in, my, in a school locally. Right, so this is you can call it my, um, I won't call it my expertise per se, but it's a strength that I have. It is something that I have that I can uh, give to the children in the Philippines. Right, it is not a very popular thing at the moment, I believe, but this is something that kids or this 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 is the in thing right now, currently going on that you know parents are sending their children for coding classes, and I'm giving them free so this is a pull factor will be on coding so breaking down and coding what platforms am i going to use for coding and i have scratch i have the um app inventor so these terms may be a bit foreign to you these are the platforms i use for coding and i have thinker and of course, make code. So these are the platforms that I have, and I'm going to do, and of course you can still break this down, but for the sake of this example, I'm just going to keep it short like this, right? And then we have classes, right? After I have goals, your pull factor, how about the classes? How are we going to break down classes? So the plan is, we're going to have three classes, right? And then three classes and I'm gonna break them down into age groups right the first age group will be the age group of let's say five years old to let's say eight years old and the 
second age group will be let's say from 9 to 13 and the last one will be 14 to about 18 years old right so these are some of the breakdowns that I have my intention is to have three classes running uh, preferably over the weekdays and now how about helpers, right? I think it's quite impossible for me to do it all alone. I need to find helpers. At the moment, I'm very blessed. I have a sister that's in the Philippines that's helping me out in this ministry, right? I'm not gonna put her name down, but I felt that I need more helpers. So one of the things that I can do right now is to pray, right? Pray to God to um, send more helpers. Pray for more helpers. And the key thing about in the Philippines is that um, the helpers, right, the helpers that's coming in to help probably will be locals that can speak Tagalog. That is one area that I'm weak in. I'm very weak in Tagalog. So um, the helpers, right, they need to be able to speak in Tagalog and, right, they need to be mature. Christians as well, right? We can't afford to have people coming in. They are not Christians and I believe, you know, we need to find people that have the same values, the same standing in Christ to be used by Christ for this ministry that is spiritual in a sense. So over here, you can see a very simple breakdown of a mind map, right? I can go, I can even expand it more. But for the example that I'm going to show you guys, this is something that I'm going to stop here. Right over here, you can see it is very useful in a sense for me to plan. When I look at this, I have a very good overview of the things that I need to take care of. First thing is to establish the goals. I need to plan about the pull factors. I need to uh, know about the platforms I'm going to use. I need to have an overview of the classes that I'm going to run, the age groups, and of course, I'll expand this further on as I plan along the days, the time, uh, how I'm going to get the children to sign up for, and of course, the helpers, uh, who I'm going to choose, uh, what are the uh, prerequisites of the helpers, so on and so forth. So I hope this blesses you guys, right? This ends pretty much uh, what I have in this traveler notebook, traveler's notebook. So in the next video, I believe I'm going to cover uh, the other traveler's notebook that I have. Um, that is why I call my Bible Devo traveler's notebook. It used to be in the olive green, but I switched to this blue one. I felt that this is underused. And I want to show it some love, so I actually switch over all the inserts, my Bible uh, devotion inserts all to here. So I'll be going through this one in the next video, hopefully. But for now, I just want to say thank you once again for everyone who is tuning in to my channel, who are watching this video. Once again, please help out this channel. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't do so. Like it, share it, put your comments below. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting this channel. This is Jet signing off. Thank you. God bless and goodbye.